and welcome to another Sunday Antiques video. Today I'm going to talk about this wonderful piece which is a Georgian design from the 1750s but recreated in the early 20th century for a commission. So I bought a pair of these about a year ago and um, I was with Harriet Roberts from Memphis who's our text stitcher and she volunteered, I didn't boss her around I promise, she volunteered to recreate this and possibly we could bring it out as a kit. It's double the length of this piece here and the techniques on it are really interesting. So as Harriet recreated it. We WhatsApp across the ocean. I'm in Northern England and she's in Memphis. And um, it's even though we have a time difference, we're, I think, both fairly active people and awake a lot and um, send each other little pictures. And it's really interesting to develop a kit and really have everything written down on a WhatsApp stream. Um, so Harriet's been stitching away and we quickly realized that two colours, two threads go in one needle. So this is how these soft shading techniques are worked. Although they work in the usual way of coming up in the middle of a feature and then down over the edge, this pink edge on this big peony flower here, and then coming up through the other way. So you work splitting the two when you do the two different directions. Um, when you actually put in another element, which is the extra colour in your thread. So this is uh, in double thread here or even in triple thread here. Um, the actual mixing of the colours is very easy and it's very effective and it looks incredibly complicated. And I think where it sh that shows it most is on this area here where you can get away with really vivid colours all mixed together and you know, nobody would go to a needlework store, I'm sure, and choose these colours and think they're going to go together brilliantly, but actually blended together in the long and short soft shading technique, which is all around here, is absolutely perfect. Although this piece has a lovely balance of technique, using a lot of cruel stem stitch, long and short soft shading, some laden couch work, French knots, and a few different stitches to add in some interest, it's really not the stitches that drew me to this piece, but the colour. And the group we were with, we were on a uh, Lady Anne's needlework retreat when we visited Meg and we saw these for the first time. Um, it was the colours, it was the combination of colours. And it's interesting because by the time this was stitched in the very early 20th century, as a replica of the 18th century piece, these colours used a chemical dye. So you were able to achieve a really bright colour without the colours running. Now, the colours still follow the traditional yellow through the greens into the blue quite often on this piece, but there are sparkling little highlights. This could be from the 1680s, 1690s, 1700, and it's exactly copying those colours but the addition of the neon green and yellow and some of the pinks really make this piece sing. I think the other thing that drew me to it was to see the designs coming through from the past, this little fritillaria. I think it's just so charming. And the fruit and the flora on this piece contained in a vase, rather reminiscent of samplers from the 18th and 19th centuries. Some of the features on this particular piece are rather interesting because typical of the arts and crafts movement, which this actual design is following, the recreation of this design is following, they've drawn on many elements from the past. So it's not a pure Georgian design from the 18th century, but it actually harks back to the um, samplers. It harks back with a central flower in the middle. It harks back to stump work pieces which have a moth or a butterfly representing the king of the time. It also features the passion flower representing Christ and these moths and bugs are all around representing the royalty of the time. Our working title, as in all good productions you have a working title, um, for this piece is Meg's Monster because we bought it from, well, it's one of a pair as well. We bought two pieces like this, stitched differently, but the same design from Meg Andrews, who's a wonderful textile historian and dealer in London.